At the edge of the Bajo de San Isidro Ecological Reserve, the ATO house emerges from a site rich in natural conditions. A swimming pool, century-old trees, and the seasonal crossing of turtles created the opportunity for a project deeply integrated with its ecosystem. Designed as a mutual exchange between human habitat and nature, the home is organized through layered substrates. At ground level, the first substrate is left as open as possible, preserving the land's natural exchanges while creating semi-covered spaces close to vegetation and water. Above, the second substrate hosts daily life at the treetop level, capturing air currents and framing expansive views. The roof becomes a third substrate, a living garden of native plants and edible species, extending the limits of the reserve through birds and insects. Three concrete walls define the structure, supporting the slabs and ordering the program into four zones. Within them, a sanitary core and vertical circulation void are flanked by deeper spaces on either side. Each floor adapts to its function. Lightweight partitions allow reconfiguration, and envelope planes shift depending on orientation, sunlight, and views. The ground floor dissolves into the landscape, while the upper floor and roof speculate with light, sky, and treetops.
Thermodynamic efficiency is achieved through passive strategies combined with advanced renewable systems. High-performance glazing, robotic blinds, and planted thresholds mediate between indoors and out. A geothermal system harnesses groundwater temperatures to heat and cool the interiors, while photovoltaic panels reduce energy reliance. All systems, from lighting to irrigation, are coordinated through intelligent home automation. The ATO house is both shelter and ecosystem, a layered architecture that listens to its site, amplifies nature's rhythms, and imagines a future of cohabitation between people and the reserve. <laughs> 